welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a video on all the game well not all of them but a lot of the games that are coming out this month alone now as we all know there are so many great games coming out this year and this is just games that are coming out in March there are several other games that I've missed off this list so please comment down below if you feel that I've missed your game off here and tell me why you're looking forward to that game Obviously with so many great games coming out this month, it was really hard to put them all in one, to vi one video. So we're going to crack down on the ones that I'm quite looking forward to actually. And some of the games that are already out already that I will probably download as soon as I can. Now we will go straight into this with a game called Agony. Now this game looks nightmarish, like it's absolutely insane. So for those of you who don't already know, basically Ag Agony is a first person survival horror game where you play as a tormented soul within the depths of hell, without any memory of your past. You have a special ability to possess minded demons and control people on their paths, which gives the player the necessary edge to survive extreme conditions. You play as a martyr condemned to hell. To survive this horror, hell, nightmarish game, you have to crouch and hold your breath to avoid demons, as well as solving mind-boggling puzzles in order to progress further. There are also hidden collectibles to find, like statues and paintings. Now, obviously that is just a little quick summary of what you can expect in Agony, but like it just looks absolutely hellish. I mean, it's supposed to be anyway, so they did a great job there, but it just looks so scary. And normally I'm not really into scary games, but I can guarantee that I probably will be watching someone play this, or maybe even um, if I pluck up the courage to play it myself. It'd be a great game to stream, and a lot of jump scares to probably to be expected. A lot of um, adrenaline fueled, probably like heart attacks coming as well, because. You've got to try and avoid demons as well and hold your breath because some, some of the demons can still hear you breathe. So that, that, that's kind of like scary. Knowing that you're face to face with a demon and like one little like sniff and you're fucking, you've had it. Do you know what I mean? So it, it does feel a bit, ooh, you know, scary. Like. So this game comes out on the 30th of March. So be prepared. Moving swiftly on before I have to go change my underwear. We're going on to A Way Out. Now this game is coming out pretty soon actually and I'm, I'm actually quite excited for this because it's quite rare to see nowadays a split screen game now this is designed for online and offline play which is pretty good actually because it means that like if you do have like a friend that you live with or a partner that wants to play this as well this is great for playing offline now for me I'll probably have my fiance play with me and this would be a great game for us to play. Like she does kind of like playing games with me, so th it's it's quite fun to have that game. Although she will have to listen to me if I make an executive decision. Now this might cause a bit of trouble, you know, with the uh, whole partner thing, but I'm sure we can work some sort of compromise out. But it will be fun to try and collaborate and find a way to get out of the prison. Now you play as either Leo or Vincent, two convicted prisoners who must work together to break out of prison and become fugitives on the run. You must communicate, coordinate and cooperate. Yes, the three C's of life, ladies and gentlemen. So choose your friends wisely. So if you know that you've got a friend that will just fuck around or try and mess something up and make you the one that looks like the idiot, then maybe this isn't the game for you two. However, if you know someone that you know will work together well with, this is a fantastic duo game for you. Now, I like, I quite like the setting and the environment looks really good. And the gameplay looks very smooth and I can imagine there being quite a lot of consequences to certain actions. So this game actually comes out on the 23rd of March. So watch out for that. Next up, we've got Sea of Thieves. Now, this is a game I've been really interested in over the last month or so. Now, I didn't really know much about it to begin with. Um, I went, obviously, once they re released it at an E3, I think it was two years ago now. It looked pretty cool then, but I wasn't really over the moon about it. But after playing, like, probably about 15 minutes of the uh, last final beta, because I was an idiot and forgot it was only for the weekend, I played a little bit, it was on my own, so it wasn't quite as good as I thought, 
without people with me. But I'm a big fan of the environment and the realism of like water and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm a bit weird like that. But just like sailing on my own, playing some sea shanties to myself and looking through the uh, spyglass to find islands and stuff like that. And just looking at the water surrounding me, it was just so peaceful. It was absolutely beautiful. For like a cartoony kind of pirate game, it was very real in sort of like how grand the scale of the map must be. I mean, you, if you look in the video behind, like you can see that the water, every time I hit a wave, it like splashes on board. And it just, it just some of the effects that are on it are absolutely stunning. Now, I could imagine this being quite a big game, especially on Twitch. Now, if you do have a, a good team, I'm sure this is an absolutely fabulous game and it makes life a lot easier, especially when you're sailing. Like, you'll have one on navigating, you'll have one on anchor, one on setting the sails, one looking out, and stuff like that. So you'll all have your different jobs. And it'd just be a great laugh, I think. And I definitely like looking for maybe a lot more sea creatures, especially with the mythical, like, Kraken, and maybe even a Leviathan in a probably future DLC, maybe. That would be pretty sweet. So it, it, all in all, I, th I think this game is going to be a lot of fun and I, I am actually looking forward to getting it but I won't be getting it on release unfortunately because just too many games coming out this month and I just can't honestly afford them all so I have to choose which one I want. So, but definitely this is on my top list of games this month. So if you are interested in a piratey adventure with your friends, I do highly recommend that you choose this one. Now, Sea of Thieves is set to come out on Xbox and PC on 20th of March, so very soon, very soon indeed, but I am super looking forward to this. So next up we have Far Cry 5. Now this is a game I'm absolutely really looking forward to, just because of mainly it's got a co-op story. Now this is what I felt was missing from Far Cry 4. Now it did have the co-op kind of experience, but it was only on certain missions. You could obviously take down the um, towers and camps and stuff like that, but playing the whole story would have been a lot more fun, I think, especially playing with someone else. Like You could easily outflank someone, and I'm actually really looking forward to having a dog as a pet friend. Now, this is really weird, and I know you might think, but I actually really love animals, and I do actually have two dogs of my own. You've probably seen them in an unboxing video. Now obviously this is not the first game to have a dog as a pet companion, however it's one of the newest and it's actually a really cool mechanic I feel that will work really well in the game, especially as it can receive weapons, take down enemies and find things that you probably couldn't or that you probably scared to. So it's actually really cool to have that sort of new mechanic in it. And you actually have planes in this one as well, which is really cool. And I've just got a feeling that the story's going to be so twisty and turny. Like, you're not going to be able to know who to trust um, and who to back. So I quite like that in stories where it's just a bit like, oh, no way, why, why did I trust that? Oh no, I did all these missions. And like, it's just really fun. And I love a good story in a game as well. And whoa, do you see that? It's mowing down the people in a bloody tractor. Oh, oh. anyway, uh, yeah, I will be getting this for PC at the end of the month. I think it's the 27th, 27th, yeah. And it comes out on all platforms, so this is definitely a PC play for me. I will be streaming as well, so please watch out for that. So before I end this video, there are a couple of games that are already out now, which I highly recommend that you go and purchase whenever you can. Now, what we have here is Warhammer's Vermintide 2. Now, unable to play the first one because I knew nothing about it, I've been told by a colleague at work that this second addition to the game is absolutely fantastic. Now, being a great lover of Left 4 Dead, apparently this is a similar sort of premise to it. And it looks actually really good. Now, you get to choose up to five different characters, but you only get to choose one. So, similar to Left 4 Dead, where there's four characters to choose, but you can only choose um, one. You can't have, like, duplicate characters. And it looks absolutely cool, and it is probably one game that I will be getting very soon. Now, I won't mention too much about it, because it's already out. Go and experience it for yourself. 
So we'll be moving on swiftly to Final Fantasy XV, which has also had a PC release. Now this game's been out for a while on the consoles, and it is amazing. It is probably one of the best Final Fantasy games I have ever played. Now it's a total different take on the fran franchise and it is absolutely stunning with breathtaking environments gigantic monsters to fight and a battle system that takes a while to get used to but once you've mastered it you become invincible now these are just some of the games that are out now so please 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 Go check them out if you haven't already. Now I will be finishing the video right here. I know it's been a bit of a rambly video but these are some of the games that are out in March so it is going to be a very expensive month for gamers. Well, what month isn't really? Um, so yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like it, please like and subscribe and especially share the video. This really does help out my channel. Now I really can't make this dream come true without you guys. Now I do rely pretty much solely on your support. Now I know I'm only a small YouTuber right now, but I do intend to make this a proper career. So if you would greatly help me out with this, I will be so appreciative of it, which obviously means that I can do more competitions in the future and stuff like this and loads of giveaways to pay you back for your support. Now, thank you very much. Please take care of yourselves and others and take care for their destiny seekers.